right, welcome back. So, we are, let me get a, the chat doc up so I can see if anybody joins us. There we go. It's up. <laughs> we'll type in a welcome. <laughs> so, you can see the beard is coming in. Takes another week or so. So, we're going to put a, a, an epoxy on my baits. Now, I did some yesterday. I got more to do today. So, you can see when the epoxy goes on it. It's so, and it looks wet. It's just so pretty. And it makes the uh, color shifting stuff shift even more. Uh, really, 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 really pretty. Not really pretty. So, I got a bunch of baits down here. I've already glued the eyes on yesterday, so we're going to uh, mix epoxy. And epoxy is 50-50, epoxy and hardener with this particular brand. We are going to add, I don't know if you guys noticed that on my baits, but there is a glittering that happens. You know, there's a glitter in there that's a color shifting glitter. And that's made by PPG. It's something they put on cars. And a buddy of mine works for PPG, so he gave me a little bit, and a little bit goes a very long way. So we're going to we're going to do all these baits, which is a lot of baits. And we'll put some of this in here. Uh, Epoxy is good for about 20 minutes or so, or depending, um, after I put the hardener in it. I know, what a messy desk, huh? So, let me put a little bit more in there. And then uh, we have to mix it for three minutes, agitate it, get the hardener. Uh, to really activate and you know this is sort of like a little mini measuring cup and two part epoxies are harder than a single stage so now it's 50 50 it doesn't ha have to be exact but you know, you got a measuring cup, you might as well use the little lines on the side. So now, that's half and half. Now we just take a little bit of this uh, color shifting um, sparkle. Now, when I put this in the uh, clear coat, and we're talking very little. This is enough for a whole car, by the way. And... Uh, it sort of gives it a little bit of reflection. So, um, sort of like real scales. So, something my baits are different than everybody else's. So, so now we stir and mix for three minutes. I oh, know, you gotta watch me mix. Oh, uh, you know, I was gonna share something, but I thought, yeah, maybe making a video would be a little crazy. But since I got a few minutes with you, you guys know I'm trying to lose weight, so I'm, I'm slim fast, I work out five days a week, play racquetball, and normally when I play racquetball, I can only last, up until this week, I can only last about six points total. My asthma, my lungs, I mean, it's just rough. So, one of the guys at the gym told me this stuff called L-carnitine, L-carnitine, this stuff. Now, L-carnitine is something our bodies normally produce. And it converts our fat into energy, which I, I have lots of fat. We just need more energy. Come on, focus, 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 focus. Again, I hate this autofocus. Come on, focus. Focus. <laughs> it's not focusing. I could go manual focus. Um, which I probably will. And uh, so I'm going to go manual focus, configure video, camera. We are not going to that. And we're just going to go there. 
There we go. And that's manual focus. And so anyway, so I did some research with all my medical issues. You know, just don't, don't put stuff in your body because somebody said so. You know, it's like, you know, uh, that wonder drug everybody's using, including Oprah Winfrey, which is bad for me, by the way. So I did a lot of research, and my wife did research, and I said, well, okay, I'll give it a shot. Looks harmless, you know, to me. And it's not that, I don't know if it burns fat, but I will tell you, it does give me more energy when I'm exercising. And at the beginning of the week, I couldn't do six points without a, t a break. Today I did two games. That to me is a miracle. Um, just, and I, I really do attribute that stuff. Now, I don't expect it to burn fat, but I do expect me to lose weight because my root, my workout routines are longer and more strenuous. So, um, so in, even in an indirect way, it helps me, and it actually tastes delicious. Uh, that's a month's supply in that bottle, so you can get it GNC, just FYI. So, we're almost done mixing this up. Looks real good. So there's that. These picks gone, and you get a disposable paintbrush. Ah, uh, no. Disposable paintbrush, and then you've got... See, <coughs> And we just take this, and this stuff, you just have to put a thin coat on it. You don't have to put more than one coat. Um, you just put a thin coat on this. Yeah, it just looks so pretty. There's unfinished, finished. Um, so... We're going to go on vacation in a little over a week to the Oregon coast, to a city called Newport. Never seen the Oregon coast, so it's going to be real exciting for us. And, and that is a clear-coated bait. It takes a couple days for it to, to cure. So you just hang them up and wait. And uh, so you just... Um, and then after it um, it dries, I can go ahead and put split rings on these things and uh, hooks and finish off the bait the way I want to. I have to check my inventory on hooks. I may have to go to the store and buy some more hooks. So, and we got some ice fishing jigs down here too. So, get those. I want to thank the people that are buying my book. Really appreciate it. Got a few sales. Yeah. Nothing that's going to make me a lot of money, but hey, you support the channel a little bit. You know, a few bucks here and there. It's really, really nice. Ugh. Point this down a bit. It's funny, the other day a spider came down onto my arm here, and the day before yesterday, and so I called Western Exterminators because, you know, you gotta call them for spiders because of the movie Biggest Spiders. Yeah, you know, Biggest Spider, you know, it's like a funny movie, by the way. And Alex and Jose, they're fearless in front of spiders. So, But anyway, so it's coincidentally, I've never seen a mouse in my house. And I um, guess my girls have. And uh, my cat caught a mouse yesterday before the exterminator came. So good timing, I guess. But yeah, this one's sort of a crappie pattern. Only well, because I messed up painting it, so I had to repaint it and uh, do it. <laughs> Crappie patterns work really good, by the way. Gives a lot of uh, flash as it travels through the water. Really is such a pretty, 
thing to do. I mean, the when you start when these things shine up like they're wet. I mean, it's just beautiful. And you just put thin coats on it because the epoxy is going to expand and fill gaps and stuff. It's just a, you know, it's really cool actually when it's all done drying. So these are ice fishing jigs, yeah, little guys, little ice fishing jigs, although you can use them anytime. I'm going to put some spinners on the back of these because I think it'll, it really adds to the flash as you're jigging it under the ice. And this magenta color works real good under the ice. So really cool. But such a pretty little bait. Yeah, pretty little bait. You put a size 12 hook on that, and you're good to go. But yeah, very cool. I know everybody's probably doing their shopping, last minute shopping for their holidays. I don't have that problem. It's kind of nice. It's funny, all my employees that have worked for me over the years always envied me this time of year because I don't celebrate Christmas. And yes, I'm a Christian. It's, just a, it's a choice. Um, so, they uh, always envied me. <laughs> It's a choice, guys. You don't have to celebrate Christmas. My kids get so many gifts. They're never in want, so don't worry about my kids. And our anniversary, which is Pi Day, March 14th, is our big gift-giving day. So it's kind of like their Christmas, in a way. They get gifts. Lots of gifts. Because, you know, our marriage... Without our marriage, they wouldn't exist. So we kind of celebrate it as a big family ado. Learned it from my sister. She, she did it. She does it that way. I always thought that was a pretty neat thing. You know, make your anniversary a big family holiday. And these are just hanging on this drying rack right here, trying to keep them from touching. You really don't want these guys to touch and dry together as this epoxy dries. So, so here's one of these. Now, I added this texture. This was actually a perfectly smooth body. And this uh, new color shifting paint I got, color I should say, uh, is on this. And I kind of made a transparent pearl bottom, you know, belly on this one. Really pretty. Oh my gosh, it's good spring bait. And that's what a lot of these are. A lot, most of these are spring baits. You know, the craws and stuff like that. And come, you know, come spring. So yeah, it's a very, the neat color shift. You can see that magenta and it's into the green. You'd be surprised how good lavender colors are in the water. For some reason lavender is really bright in the water. The refraction of this particular hue is surprisingly brilliant. Um, it's like pink. You know, anything into this family of colors. Um, pink is really, really bright. You know, if you get a, a bubblegum worm or something like that, those things are just brilliant in the water. And smallmouth bass love it. So, this one, I kind of put two different ones. See, on the nose is sort of a blue-green and then a magenta on the back of it. Again, very pretty. And it's going to color shift. And with these color shifting pigments that I put in this paint, or this clear coat, it just will make it even that much more brilliant. Brilliant. 
These I've given it a transparent yellow belly on this one. Real pretty. I mean, the paint I pick is very, 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 very specific. Um, you don't just paint a lure a pretty color. You want to paint a lure a color that you've had success with. And I've had success with these colors. Um, there is no doubt in my mind that I will catch fish with these baits. No doubt in my Now just like everything you can't just toss it out there and expect it to work um, I did a video on presentation and you learn the bait you know these are trout size uh, jerk baits uh, and so this little itty bitty bait right here is like we'll catch everything but the trout are just gonna go nuts for that um, really I'm going to go nuts for that. And we have 10 pound trout. And those 10 pounders will hit that. One thing, they've never seen it. And so they're just going to see that little itty bitty cool multicolor um, minnow swimming through the water and they will hit it if the bass don't beat them to it so really pretty such a pretty pretty bait yeah, three more to do huh? got a lot of a lot of epoxy adding more epoxy does not help you know on these things so Sometimes, you know, I really focus around the hook area, the line area, when I'm putting my epoxy on, because that really is the wear area, um, you know, where, you know, the hooks are going to rub against the body, and uh, you want to make sure you got a really good, thorough coat on that area. Um, that's what you want to make sure. You don't want that to wear off, and then uh, your paint will start to disappear. So very cool. Just love these new baits. Love that new paint that I got on it, the new color paints. And yeah, do a lot more. We're going to do a lot more painting. We have a lot of baits to paint and getting ready for the spring. I think one of those lar larger jerk baits, I think I'll take those to the beach with me and see if I can grab something off the, uh, the docks. And get a black bass or a rock fish or something on it. Uh, or even these little guys. Who knows? We'll take them. We'll test them. Why not? One more to go. Woohoo! Gotta love clear coating. Just finishes the presentation. The rest of it, we just put really good stainless steel. Um, uh, split rings on it and then we put nickel plated hooks so they don't rust really sharp ones I do buy real good hooks I mean these are the hooks I take I, I remove manufacturers hooks and put these on and then of course you maintain your baits by swapping out the hooks on your favorite baits every once in a while because you know they do dull They're not nickel plated, they'll be rusting on you, so you want to make sure that they're plated. Although, they'll never rust on me because I always replace them 
So there's that one. It's got a silver belly to it. And then this lavender. Ugh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, I say. Stick it up there. These are dry. Pretty much. So, but look at that. I mean, just real pretty. Real pretty. Look at the color from the gold to the green. Um, real pretty. And then, you know, these. Uh, so this one, I think, is going to work really, really well out off the dock. Yeah. This is a bone um, color with a yellow hue with a pink head and a false eye on it. Yeah, this thing will work really good off the docks, I think. Uh, that's going to be jerking through the water and something's going to hit it. Something's going to hit it, right? It's just got to. So, but yeah, really, 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 really nice. So, there, clear coated. So, this is Lure Coat um, by Lure Build that I use and I just absolutely love what Jim does with uh, in fact this this one right here is a formulation of his his uh, bone that I used to paint this so this and I got this bait from lure bill so this is kind of everything <laughs> I really like his stuff I mean his lures are reliable um, they have good action in the water. Uh, there's one design that I have to tune. And maybe I'll do a video on how to tune a bait. Um, because sometimes a bait will just drift off to one side and it will not track straight. And so what you do is you take uh, your pliers and you turn, twist, where uh, the, the, the eye at the front. You twist it and that allows you to uh, straighten out that path of a um of a lure so really really you know that's an important thing because uh <laughs> unless you like it going left or right i don't um uh, so where do i where is wait These are, um, what do you call it, uh, split rings. I think I got enough split rings. It's just a matter of having enough hooks. This is terminal tackle. That is my hook box. I have a hook box. Hook box. Where did I put it? It can't be this one. No, that's my on the water terminal tackle. Oh, maybe it's right here. Oh, do not shake my drawing rack much. No. Nice fishing stuff. Getting ready for ice fishing. Gotta get ready for ice fishing. Where did I put it? Where's my hooks? Oh, you hate that? I know it. Where are oh, hooks? I've got a box of hooks. Those are my blanks. Those are my split rings. Keychain stuff. I can make a keychain of my doors. Just FYI. I don't know. 
want to tear this apart a little bit. I know it's right here. It's right in front of my face. Don't you hate that? I bought super glue yesterday <laughs> when I gave my truck. There it is. There it was. So after you buy something, you uh, you find it. Ugh. Alright. Showed you my business cards, huh? I got my, my new business cards. So it's not really. You know, basically backing for my thing. But they're business cards, you know, basically. So we gotta we got those in. fit this if I can't find all my hooks. I have all of it. I got a whole box of hooks looking right at me right now. Right. Right. Huh. <laughs> I know. Watching me circle. I don't think that box is my hook box. No, that's not. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. All right. Well, we'll find it. It's here somewhere. Looking at me. It's taunting me. It's taunting me. <laughs> I can't go far. And anyway, when you grow a new beard, you know, it's real itchy. The beard is real itchy. I'll find it. I'll find it. <coughs> it's not a big room. But it's amazing how much stuff I have in this room. <coughs> for all my baits and for my fishing gear and stuff like that. So you know we should you know we should have a video on how I make my, my inline spinners too. That'd be a good video. As most of you like, I mean, inline spinners are extremely reliable for catching. And it's a real easy thing to do. Instead of spending six bucks on an inline spinner. Where? Where is that box? You know, I just don't know. So anyway, I'm glad you guys tuned in. Um, hopefully... You saw me mix epoxy, apply epoxy, put an additive in it, which is really cool. And that's that color shifting um, um, PPG um, additive. Like I said, that's enough. This is enough to do a car. I know. So, last, it was a very generous gift from one of my viewers. So, all right. All right, I'm going to look for these hooks. You guys take care. And uh, we'll see you next time. So look at Maddie and Tay queued up. And we are good to go. <laughs>